on today's episode with turning our focal lens on the scourge of the coronavirus on the 27th of february we became one of the countries to record its first case of the dreaded viral disease prior to this date it was a global health affair that had world organization on their feet trending the path of cure and containment of the coronavirus we have an health expert in our midst a personality we can look up to for information updates and vital information of the control of the coronavirus let's give a warm welcome to dr tsui mabawodu i had to pronounce that last thing back to back <laughs> welcome again it's okay if, if you're a german you will you learn how to pronounce numbers but if you're still in uh, america or western you know other part of western Europe, they like short 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 things okay thank, uh, yeah thank you for having me thank you so um, much for joining us today in the studio and for wanting to come and educate and update nigerians on recent developments nigerians wants to know definitely you know the reason why we brought into the studio is to give us information about coronavirus and the likes and all of that so what exactly is this coronavirus it's not coronavirus it's not new, but there's a family called coronavirus. It's a big family of virus, from the one that um, causes the common cold um, to the one that causes influenza, mm. and there's the, this new one called new coronavirus. Um, this one has not caused any disease before. There are any virus. You know, virus are different from bacteria. Mm. In a way, it's just a single strand of a genome material. Mm then that um, they used to the enter human body or living body and use it to reproduce themselves. Mm. Um, what we know is that the majority of the coronavirus, which family they belong to, they are known to cause mild illnesses. Mm. Uh, but this one is new to us. And um, I thought you said it's not new. That's what you no, said. No, I'm talking this, 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 this strain, virus. This strain. Oh, okay, this strain. This strain. Uh -huh. It's new because if we would know it before, we wouldn't be so confused. Yeah about how it causes diseases incubation period and all that stuff mm. uh, so now it's here with us uh, interestingly what we've seen as far as those microorganisms are concerned is that after some time if you if there's an infection now and it comes on humans after some time we deal with them then they undergo some after a long time they undergo some mutation and we see a new strain of them causing this a similar disease mm. so that's what we have in our hands it means that uh, more importantly we need to keep focus on how epidemics, you know, come on us. Mm. Um, this one has been quite unique in a way because for a long time we've not seen an epidemic of this confusion. Um, you know, uh, more than 80 countries right now, um, more than 85,000, 90,000 people, more than 90,000 people, more than 3,000 deaths. Um, you can imagine the rate at which this virus spread from one uh, country to another yeah. So, and then you've seen quite a massive disruption of life and business, okay, to the extent that even the federal, the, the feds, what I call the central banks all over the world, are cutting test rates because there's, you know, even China's growth is predicted to go down. If China is not buying our oil, that means that we'll be facing challenges. So, for any country, it becomes so important that you need to focus mainly, you focus on so many things, but mainly on two things the health system and education you yeah. know with those without those two things you can see how another virus is causing so much disruption all around the world yeah so talking about here. the virus can the virus be cured can it be managed well again um via illnesses are actually if they don't self-attenuate um you know they then cause the disease or cause problem there's no drug when you're talking about via illnesses we don't have antibiotics to use for them mm. The antiviral agent, you know, but not in this case. There's no antiviral agent for uh, COVID-19. Mm. No antiviral agent for it. Even no, no vaccination. Mm. Uh, for other parts of the world where they you still have influenza shots mm. and all those things, the vaccination. Uh, but this one, no vaccination. Uh, we, for us, we, there's still a lot of areas that are not understood um, in the virus. So, um, listening to you, I think um, this leads to my next question. Is it possible, or we understand that there's an incubation period for the virus in the human system, which may pass undetected? So, what is your, what is your advice as an expert? Um, one, first of all, incubation period, some talk about four to six days, some talk about up to 14 days. 14 days, yeah. Incubation, mm. you know. Um, 
Incubation means the time the virus can stay in the body without manifesting mm. symptoms. Now, for us, the question is that we we know that for now we know that even the virus may not manifest illness in somebody that can still be transferred to another person. Really? That is it. Mm. That is it. So that makes it a bit challenging. Mm. And that's why it's possible for that Italian uh, to pass through the airport without detecting anything and then come down later. After a few days. Yes. Yeah. And then, you know, that's, that's one aspect of it. Secondly, we know that the virus itself, you know, um, become the, the manifestation becomes worse in people with chronic illnesses mm. and people who are older. So that's uh, another thing we know. Mm. Then we also know that there are what we call mysterious transmission. Mm-hmm. Okay, in the mysterious transmission of the virus, people that are not connected, we've seen people that are not connected to the source of the virus, mm. either in China or Italy or Iran or Japan, mm. you know, manifesting the disease. Okay, because we've seen those mysterious transmission, we've seen quite a number in the US, we've seen in Germany, and also in UK. So these guys are not connected to the virus. We, we are not seeing any of their connection to the epicenter epicenter mm. still they are manifesting the virus mm. so the question is that fully is it possible that the virus has been you know uh, spreading locally or it has gotten away from china a long time ago without us knowing now the key aspect of this thing in all this is this managing information is very very and very key i'll repeat that very time mm. now misinformation could come from anywhere um it could come from government it could come from individuals it even come from social media. Mm. Now, that I'll give an example of that of government. Um, somebody woke up one day and said that um, what a trusted person because you, you, the, the value they put on your information mm. depends on the level you are occupying in the society. Mm. A trusted person came up and said that you know what, um, coronavirus is caused by corruption. That's <laughs> a serious info. That is a serious thing and requires a reprimand. We, we, because yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, absolutely requires right. Requires a reprimand. So, if you are not supposed to talk about coronavirus, please keep quiet. So, Nigerians are quick to spread and believe false news. What is the mechanism on ground for information dissemination? Listening to you now. Now. When it comes to the health sectors, I know that you are doing your best. the Minister of Information is the best person to answer this, but, you know, well, from your own... You yeah. cannot even answer the question. You are doing your best. <laughs> you are doing your best, this radio station, by telling us, this is the thing, this is that. But beyond the radio station... The information should be channeled towards few or single source. Mm. Everything concerning coronavirus, because epidemics has a way of affecting our life in so different many ways. Sure. You know, let, let's be clear. Coronavirus is not the same thing as Ebola. It's different thing entirely. Mm. And we must not start priding ourselves that because we dealt with Ebola, so it's going to be the same with coronavirus. Mm. What for 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 instance, one is spread by true human secretion. Mm. Other is through respiratory or aerosol. Mm. A, a person that sneezes here now, you know, can easily, if it's a coronavirus, can easily transmit the coronavirus. But if somebody sneezes, we'll not be able to transmit Ebola. So there are different things entirely. Great we deal with Ebola, we should be able to pick from that knowledge. But the key information should come from who? The key information should come from one, Nigeria Center for Disease Control, Federal Ministry of Health, and Lagos State Ministry of Health. Yes, and I'm glad that you took us to Ebola. Nigeria was widely praised for its effort to contain the Ebola outbreak in 2014, which killed more than 11,000 people in West Africa. What do you, would you want to say um, the healthcare system in Nigeria has improved significantly enough to keep Nigerians at rest, as in to be rest assured of this coronavirus that is ongoing at the moment? Okay, you see, again, the first thing in public health is this. Mm. Truth, honesty, sincerity. Mm. Because by the time you start, you know, making wrong assurances, mm. you are going to hurt the people more than the virus, mm. or more than the jam itself. Mm. So you, you must be able to be clear and sincere where you are mm. in fighting the disease mm. or, or your readiness. Mm. Now, if you look at factors in epidemic preparedness, and you put those factors down, and you look at Nigeria, we're, we're really having a big problem. Mm. You know, yes, you know why we're lucky with Ebola because Ebola announced itself in one of the good hospitals 
and claim the life of a doctor that picked it. Yes. And then it allowed us to quickly round it up. Yes. Good enough, this one we are also trying to, to, cut, to cut, do that. Yeah. But if you look at it, font is key in epidemic preparedness. So but when we have the likes have, of Dan, no, I, I like the Dango thing wanted to also those, 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 yes, know. good. <laughs> but for me contribute financially. My, my advice has always been that we should have a future fund for epidemic preparedness. It's yeah. not when the epidemic now comes on us. Comes on us. So it will not be a shock yes, system. Yes, anyway, so hold your thoughts. We will go on a quick break and return after a word from our partners. Stay tuned, we will be right back. This is real talk with Kike. Getting paid every month, every month as the head of that. You know, there was, there was even an issue I heard that there are some people that are no longer working in that department. That's still collecting, collecting, collecting money. I keep asking, so, yeah, asking for a while well, now. National Retreat Agency, we grew up listening to information from them. They got us every bit of information when your life is cut. In fact, generally, my lost health. National Orientation Agency was the place to go. They are still running. It's still there. So who is running it? And what are they doing? Where are they doing it? Because we're not hearing anything. Even when Ebola was around. Alright, let's go.